I figured that if I named the restaurant with the word suck in it, it had to be good. I couldn't take any short steps. I had to do the best possible. Absolutely. No, that's not the real reason. Um, <laughs> I want a tongue in cheek. I want to have fun. And I love a seersucker suit. I love the I love opening day at Del Mar. I love the Kentucky Derby. I like to, I like that I mean, when you're wearing seersucker, you feel good. It's been fashionable for over a hundred years. So that's how long I want this restaurant to be around for. And you know what? It's just, it's, it's always summer. It's always fun in a seersucker suit. Beautiful. Now that we got the name out of the way, let's get to the important thing, oh, yes. the food. I'm just going to point this stuff and you tell me why it's delicious and I should absolutely spend more time on the treadmill. I got this game. I got this. Okay, okay, good. This guy right there. Oh, um, baked artichoke gruyere tomato because it's baked artichoke gruyere and tomato. All right, you just dip it up. It's the best. It's for sharing. We do a lot of sharing here at Sir Sucker. Excellent. So this is a cheese situation. This is a cheese situation, but these are different because? Uh, this is my vegetarian, but so is this one now that you mention it. So no. that's not bad at all, huh? Because I got a lot of, I got duck fat, pig fat, pork belly. I got everything going around here. Funny, but... so do I. <laughs> 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 I have it all on my left thigh. Okay, and this guy, I, I'm very interested because I love cherries, and you don't usually see cherries in an entree. Cherries um, on the swordfish. I call this my drunken uh, uh, preparation. The swordfish is incredible. It's a local harpoon swordfish. Fish. The cherries, it's uh, it's winter time here. It's very cold in, San, in yes. San Diego. So we weren't able to get fresh cherries, so we took dry cherries, um, boiled some port wine, put the cherries in there. They absorb wow. the port, they plump up, we make a little syrup, smoky almond, rosemary, orange zest. It's out of this world. Save the best for last. This guy looks crazy good. What I, is that? I learned to cook steak. I was known for this, being the seafood chef, but uh, I, I do know how to cook steak. This is the hanger cut, uh, the butcher's cut, the best cut uh, of, the, of the beef. Um, hard to find. You probably can't cook it at home, so you're going to have to come down here and let me cook it for Bravo. you. Oyster mushroom, shaved umbrian truffles. That's the other side of Italy that nobody goes to. If you want to go, that's where you should go. Um, and it's just a nice little uh, red wine demi reduction. Let's bring it on home with what you're known for. Oh yes, the crab cake. Um, I used to work at this other restaurant, great restaurant. They used to have a really great crab cake and everyone kept asking me why I should have a crab cake or if I'm gonna do one and the only way I was gonna do it is so that I could step it up. So I removed all the bread. It is literally all crab baked in its own little mold. So it is now technically really a crab cake. That is brilliant. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. And I think that we should toast with this green beverage because green equals healthy. Green does, but your healthy is arugula, celery, and um, gin. <laughs> That's what healthy living at Sears Soccer is all about. <laughs>